Just like the ASPX grid view, it's possible to enable the built-in links of the ASPX tree list to delete selected nodes. This is very useful for deleting one node at a time. But what if you want to give your users the option to select and delete multiple nodes at a time? In this video, you'll learn how to do just that. We'll show you how to add code and remove multiple selected nodes at once with the click of a button. So let's get started. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX tree list control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the departments table of the departments.mdb database. First, let's look at the ASP.NET markup. You can see that for the data source, I've also specified a delete command. This is necessary to perform row deletion at runtime. Back in the designer, I'll select the tree list and open its smart tag. Here, I click on Enable Selection to display checkboxes next to each node so that multiple selections can be made. To be able to access the tree list from other controls at runtime, I'm going to set its client instance name property. I'll call it tList. Next, I'll drop an ASPX button control onto the form. I set its text property to delete selected nodes. By default, the button will perform a postback when clicked. Since we don't want the page to be completely refreshed, I'm going to set the auto postback property of the ASPX button control to false. Now, I'll handle the button's client side click event. I open its smart tag and click on the client side events link. This brings up the client side events editor. I select the click event and add the following code to the event handler body. The perform callback method is called to send a callback to the server and raise the custom callback event of the ASPX tree list control. To perform the deletion, I need to handle the custom callback event. I select the tree list control and create the event handler. First, I'll add a reference to the devexpress.web.aspx tree list namespace. Back in the event handler, I'll use a for each statement to iterate through each selected row. For this, the get selected nodes method is called. Then the selected node is deleted using the delete node method of the ASPX tree list. Finally, the data bind method is called to refresh the grid. And that's it. I run the web application. I'll select a node and click on the Delete Selected Nodes button. The node is deleted from the data source and the tree list is automatically refreshed. I'm going to select a parent node and click on the button to delete it. You can see that the web application throws an exception. What's happening here is that the Delete Node property is unable to delete the selection since it has descendant nodes. I stop the debugger and return to Visual Studio. To be able to delete nodes with descendants, I'm going to set the settings allow recursive delete property. I select the tree list control, expand its settings editing property, and set allow recursive delete to true. And I'm done. I run the application again. I select a master node and click on the button. You can see that the node and all of its descendants have been deleted. For more information, please refer to the ASPX tree list documentation. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.